Singapore's total fertility rate has just hit a record low. If I was able to work from home more often, I might be more willing to have a second child. I feel really betrayed on a personal level, eh. Big news for Singapore! Ooh, then he's a father! Yeah. Congratulations! Nobody has, nobody cares. But people we care, care because Singapore's total fertility rate has just hit a record low in 2023, right. falling so, below one for the first time. And you might welcome. be wondering, what does total fertility rate mean? This means the <laughs> average number of babies each woman would have during her reproductive years. Thank you, Chir. So this okay. was actually... You're above average already. Yes, yeah, we're yeah. above <laughs> 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 So oh, we, we, we collected uh, Oli's uh, passport yesterday, right? Oh, to oh. see a Singapore passport with his face in it. I felt so proud. Wait, baby, how to take no, passport you... photo? <laughs> it is really just a baby face <laughs> challenge. You have to like try and like like put him in a position so that he looks like he's not crying, he's not smiling, he has to be a neutral face, but then the background has to be bright enough so you can Photoshop it and make it white. Right. Oh, you mean you did it at home? I did it at home. Then what? Go to online. No, I thought that's like a baby photo like no, station. No, 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 which is Ooh. way below our replacement rate of 2.1. Okay. Mm. Yes. I mean, replacement Scary. rate is essentially what is required for a population to replace itself from one generation mm. to the next. Mm. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, therefore, gosh. there is quite the conversation on why Singaporeans aren't having children. Oh, yes. that's why I'm on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. The proud dink. Yeah. Dinks. Oh, I'm so proud. Okay, if you can summarize your reasoning in one sentence, what would it be? I am not willing to compromise on the lifestyle that I currently have. So cost? No, not just cost actually. It's okay. actually more so more importantly, right, time. Being able of to like, go home and then yeah. load up his PS5 and game and not have to worry about like a child. That one. Hey, don't complain, yeah. you just started. <laughs> I just want to say I have a child and then no when PS5 I, I've been playing PS5 almost every day Whoa. because you, you faster feed him right, and then you put him to sleep also because it's on okay, paternity yeah, 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 the dreams are going to be next week <laughs> okay we'll stay tuned for a dance update yeah. is there a reason why you've decided not to have kids the, my wife has fertility issues eh. so it's, it's quite sensitive to us yeah. it's very sensitive but you would no no, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I, I think it's my Trick whole question. life, right? And Pat's whole life, we always thought about one day we'll just have kids as a very natural order of things. Mm. Mm. But when we have fertility challenges, right, where it requires certain medical procedures, right, and then you have to pay a lot of money just to fix yourself, ah, mm. mm. then after that you anticipate buy baby buy buy baby powder buy diaper buy milk. It gets a bit challenging, like financially of mm. and, and the lifestyle change of that. I think I had too much time to think. I feel like if we had no fertility problems, we're on child number two. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. yeah, I think you must just give in to your carnal nature one. So you all have kind of mentioned the two more common reasons, which is mm. cost of living as well as work-life balance. So if I can read out a comment from here, while I am already fortunate enough to have work-life balance, I still cannot fathom having kids because work ends at six, I reach home at seven. After settling dinner, I need to wash up, I need to do chores and then I'm so drained. There's only energy left to shower and then sleep. Wow, did I comment this? <laughs> <laughs> That's my exact yeah, like, so mindset. Their concern is actually that they would not have quality time with their kids. So it's right. quite interesting. So it's not that like I, I don't want to take care of a child, but it's like I don't want to have a child mm. and then the child to feel like during their childhood years, right, their parents are not around. And the other one that we did mention was cost of living. So too expensive to have kids, I can just afford a nice life for myself. So to millennial or Gen X parents who are raising children, I know it's not easy. Kudos to the Gen Zs. If you don't want kids, life is just too expensive and stressful. Find bliss and happiness in pursuing whatever passions you want. Still, uh, wow. not helping the country. And, <laughs> but to round off with a housing problem, no house, no kid. Wait, six years of my BTO, I 35 by the time my house come. Okay, what? Huh, 35 for him, then 35 for the wife. You know, because so, houses do take years to build, right? it has always been the case. Right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. even my time when my house came in four years, right? on mm. paper I signed off, right? also five, six years, one, they said. No, but actually it's very conflicting because Minister Indrani <laughs> did kind of give an explanation on why this is happening and she actually cited the COVID-19 pandemic, which I was actually a bit surprised by mm. because I think, you know, COVID everybody at home, uh, then the yeah, only yeah. thing you can do is make babies. Uh, this is the yeah, most yeah, fun yeah, activity. You do. Do. <laughs> I want to say I felt it there. Eh. Before Pat re realised that she had endometriosis mm -hmm. and when we were trying those many years, right? Mm. We started scheduling according to her ovulation. Then it felt very mechanical, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah. to the point whereby 
you feel like, oh my God, today we need to do, but today we are yeah. tired or today mm. we, we- Not in the mood. Then, yeah. Uh, yeah. So then you start getting very stressed out yeah. about it to the point where the deep is not pleasurable at all. But when COVID, right? Mm. Obviously the first two, three weeks of COVID when we realized, oh, business might toe, right? It was very stressful. But after a while, when the government grants yeah. started yes. coming out and then they cover 60%, 70% period, they're like, okay, 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 okay. okay. New normal. Yeah. yeah. And then during that period, you start being a bit more relaxed, right? Oh, that that's, period. <laughs> the sex was great. Eh? We went beyond the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> I really felt it. I really felt it. And I realized <laughs> 10 minutes. stress plays such a huge impact mm. to your sex life. Like incredible impact to your sex life. I do want to touch on what John mentioned though about hey, like, the that. stress. <laughs> uh, We're talking about that. So <laughs> I think for Ned and myself also, um, Obviously, like, it's the best thing that's ever happened to us. Yes. But I think when... I kinda, you kind of feel like you need to say that. No, no, no. Don't rain on his parade. No, I'm just like, trying to... Yeah. Get the truth. <laughs> I just want to say, I, I, I wish everybody had the privilege of having a child Feeling to that. understand yeah, 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 yeah. what I'm going through right now because mm. I obviously don't want to put it to your face because it's just like... It's preachy, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's you know? When you came to the point where we decided like, hey, do we want kids, right? It mm. wasn't that, oh my God, we must, 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 absolutely must mm. want kids or whatever. It was that when you came to a time where we have our house, we got married mm. and, we, and we thought, hey, like if we had a child, would that be a bad thing? And we went, no. Like, so we've, we, like the stresses were removed. Right. It wasn't that there was an overwhelmingly positive reason to have kids. No, but in my head, right? Like this period would kind of be the worst period to have a baby because like you had your wedding mm. and then oh. you had your house yeah, to yeah. pay for you so these were pretty big ticket purchases right and then at this point I say okay we are financially ready to have a baby as well do you have that conversation also? yeah I mean we knew that we were financially sound it would have been just nice and right now like it's really just like nice the amount of money we have left <laughs> la, right but just talking about removing the stresses and I think it's something that we're going to be talking about later on but it's all these little like schemes and subsidies and grants right mm. that again these things alone at, at least for us mm. didn't make us go oh my god let's have a kid so that we can get a baby bonus it was mm. that okay having a kid is expensive but because there's these grants and schemes right. and all it's one stress removed well, like, like, what, like what are uh? What are the grants you've gotten so far? So we've got baby bonus, which okay. in total for your first child, if I'm not mistaken, it's 11,000. But the first amount- Oh, I remember it to be six. Eh? What the heck? It's double now. <laughs> but but, but you, you don't receive the 11,000 in one shot. Okay. You receive 3,000 first and okay. it gets banked in like almost immediately, which is great. Oh, but so we, they just detect and you don't apply. The no, no, no la, they, <laughs> you have to apply, right? register no, the no, buffer. Right. Oh. Surprisingly, right? Everything is damn fast. So like, um, Ollie was born I can't say the time in case like you all like try and voodoo him right okay. but like <laughs> after yeah, true, true, true. two yeah, hours yeah. after his birth uh, I got a notification on my sing pass saying please uh, register for your child's birth no way and then after that right it's like you get emails about baby bonus and all these things like oh, oh, automated right. automated right. damn automated, yeah. good yeah. No, but at that point of time you're not, you're not even thinking about this like, you're no, just having no, exactly. family safe correct? Yeah. by like, the way no because two know. hours after so it's the first time that he comes out of the nursery like they, they yeah, yeah, change yeah, yeah, him yeah. and shower him and then he came out so like he literally entered the door right? I received the notification I go what the <laughs> hell is going on yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> remember you are taking care <laughs> we are always watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really felt like like one of those weird movies. So I have a table about the baby bonus cash gift mm. <laughs> right now. And you, they actually go. give all the way up until your child turns 6.5 years old. Yeah, so 6. And, and but 11k is pretty so thin though. Yeah, every, so it's 3k, 1.5, 1 1.5, 1k and then after that 400 every 6 months until your child turns 6.5 years old. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. It, which yeah. is really helpful. Front load, yeah. 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 So so for us, for example, when we when we were already expecting a child, mm. we knew like, okay, we definitely wanted a nanny because mm. uh, the first one is going to be crazy and nannies are usually about three to $4,000. So that $3,000 that you get in baby bonus mm. is like, it's a yeah, free nanny. Was free for the nanny like. Yeah. As in, how is yeah. your child going to spend it? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know that. So, okay, I mean, well, we're definitely, we're, on, we're not like lecturing or telling parents mm. how to spend the money, like, like use it. I mean, how you would use it. Like, yeah. Yeah. But for us, we treated it as, okay, it's going to be a very tiring process for us, but at least this nanny is going to be covered for. So, yeah. again, one negative, like, detractor mm. eliminated. And that also kind of solves the time or like you can play PS5 like, you know while the nanny is I do have spend like quality time with my Guilty. child I mean <laughs> so I'll talk about know, right. the system for Nan and I we take 6 hour shifts so there's 24 hours in a day Very uh, fair. You've been I, working, take, I take 12 right? hours she takes 12 hours because he has 8 hour, um, eight feeding slots right Wow. it's always 2, 5, 8, 11 whether it's PM or AM it's always 2, 8, 5, 11 so I take 8am and 11am 8pm and 11pm and then she takes 
two five two five. I so feel like she got the you you got the best <laughs> shoes. Eh? <laughs> she got the two five. Yeah, <laughs> 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 to be fair, she hates waking up early in the morning, so she cannot do eight a.m. I love waking up early in the morning. I'm a morning person. Okay, she but she's doing up. five a.m. But she's yeah, just staying yeah. up. Oh, okay. So she sleeps from like nine p.m. to like maybe about He's one a.m. Net who is there? By Net is outside. <laughs> Net, Net, you need to listen to this. Eh? <laughs> to sleep from nine Your p.m. to one a.m. Yeah. <laughs> it's fair. We it's the same amount of hours. <laughs> okay, so on the note of cost of living concerns, I think you will be delighted to find out that our partners for today's episode Yay. is actually gov.sg who would so like much. to remind you about some important initiatives that were announced during Budget 2024 to support families. Mm. Let's go. What's point number one? That was point the point I paid one. attention the most to. Uh, it's really, more really good. affordable housing for young families. So mm. HDB will launch more than 19,000 BTO flats in 2024 where first-timer families will also be given greater priority. Okay. So 14% of these flats will have a shorter waiting time of less than three years. Oh, and oh, rental vouchers have also been introduced to support eligible families waiting for their BTO flat completion. So no more yeah. staying with your parents, no more <laughs> imposing them with a child that cries. I, I right, think that's right, the right. biggest because like you very scared like, oh, oh no, I'm going to have a child now, right? Mm. And then now my parents have to hear like the yeah. cries in the middle of the night. Yeah, 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 you want yeah, the house yeah. to be a home for yeah. the child. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, there yeah. you go. There yeah. Yeah, there's a lyric about that house is not a home. And, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Second on that list is improved preschool affordability. Ooh, so from true. 2020, 25, monthly full day childcare service fee okay. caps will be lowered by $40. Yes. So at anchor operators, they will be at $640 and at partner operators, excluding GST, will be at $680. Ken. These fee caps will also be further lowered in 2026. So by the time oh. your child is going to go back school, yeah. <laughs> they don't say by how much they <laughs> No, but you hope yeah, every yeah. year yeah. we keep going down. It's a blind box. Honestly, yeah. I feel like yeah. at some point, right, if our birth rate don't improve, right, they have to pay you all to produce really. like, what, what else you all do? It's true. That's yeah. what baby bonus is. But yeah, so it? with basic and additional subsidies already in place, mm. out-of-pocket expenses for most families in full-day childcare at a government-supported preschool will amount to less than $500 per month. Thank wow. you. Is, Thank you. I, I don't know how much is the public one, but I think the private one, my friends pay thousand plus. And it's not high-end mm. private. It's just mm. because near their house kind of private. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. In this year's budget, they also did roll out, I think quite a variety of packages, Comlink Plus progress packages to support less yeah. well-off families. So from the second half of 2024, there will be four packages that will be rolled out progressively, focusing on one, preschool education, two, mm. sustained employment, three, financial stability through debt clearance, oh. and four, wow. saving for home ownership. Wow. Yeah. It's not bad. There's really a roadmap. Yeah. No, yeah. even, the, even the debt repayment, I feel like that's big. Debt like clearance, that, mm. yeah. Like having children for people in their late twenties is also a privilege for people that didn't really screw up the early game. <laughs> I feel if you cock out an early game, like you never study properly, or you never pick the right industry, or you make a job switch that you regret, or whatever. I'm not talking about you again. Yeah, I'm just no, like, like you you know, you Then you you screw up your early game, then you realize. No, like we don't advance yeah. now. Yeah, we need to make sure our early game stay D. Yeah. So you go back and play level one again, you know? Mm. So I think it does cover quite a few bases. And then on top of that, there's also additional support for families with special educational needs or disabilities. So at special education schools, the monthly fees will be lowered from 150 to 90. They are also giving support for caregivers of children with developmental needs. I've always thought, right, like because both my sisters give, when they give birth, right, then I ask them how much they'll pay out of pocket. It's like, I think 10K. Then Jackie, right? He clearly can more than afford it. But he just decided that we're going to probably clean the whole way, right? Mm -hmm. And then probably clean it got further subsidy, right? I think they paid like 2 3 k baby pop eh? Pregnancy checkups all the way to baby pop. 2 3 k Wow. Yeah. So it, it can be as cheap as you want it to be, but you're okay now. You go probably clean it. Wait. The trade-off is like waiting time la, and stuff like that. Or the trade-off, like? there's waiting time and that you have a rotating doctor. Yeah. Uh, you don't get to see the same doctor yeah. or it's not guaranteed. La, yeah. At the very, exactly that. Yeah. Okay. But that premium is a five-figure premium. And then mm. the 3K covered by the first baby bonus payout. <laughs> which is 3K. Oh, that's how they derive their number. I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, la, it's not the nanny. La. <laughs> 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 For you, for you. Yeah, for our... Wow, oh, yes, yeah, damn cheap to go to poly. <laughs> <laughs> so the falling fertility rates are actually not exclusive to Singapore. Japan and South Korea are also struggling with the same thing, with South Korea's oh, no. lowest TFR to be recorded in 2023 is... Ah, yeah. 
It's Aya. That's bad. Zero point seven two. Oh, you all make K drama for what, sir? They are romantic. No, the K drama don't all. have the giving birth part, man. They just get together and. That's true. They never end up having kids. Oh my god. They don't have family drama, so it's not realistic. Like, they cannot relate. Yeah, <laughs> they got nothing to aspire to after the relationship. So they together. should be making more family shows, lah. K dramas. No, and then dramas. the most watched K drama, the world of the married. It's like a very terrible reality for them. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. so in general, it's not promoting the, the, the good <laughs> things. Yes. They're actually depleting. They are the lowest in the world. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're TFR. One thing that might be able to push me over to the other side. Okay. It's actually, I was thinking about when I went to exchange to Sweden. Oh, wow. Look at you. <laughs> and then when I went for a class, right, there was this very hot Swedish girl. Old man. Oh, okay. oh Like he was a father lah. Uh-huh. And then he was like, all of us were, you know, 20 plus and all that kind of stuff. This is 40 old man in the room. And then I went to talk to him. Mm. A very old man is 40 years old. Yeah. <laughs> At the point, like, yeah, he's <laughs> twice his age. Right? I mean, he, he did look <laughs> much older than all of us. Uh, okay, okay. I say like, so what are you doing here? Right. Uh-huh. And then he says like, oh, uh, I'm, my wife actually just gave birth. And here in Sweden, uh, we have 480 days of parental leave. Oh! 480? One year only got 365. And eh. this 480 is to be split Equally between the the Mom father and, and the father, uh, father and the father, the mother and the mother, <laughs> hey, oh, it's a big oh, mother and the father. <laughs> so, so if they are both, forty days each. Yes, if they are both present within the family yeah. nucleus, right, 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 yeah, right. But if you are a single parent, then you get all four hundred eighty. within how wow. many years? A kid, you get a four hundred eighty. Yeah, yeah. And then so he say like so, I pretty much have the whole year to just look after my kid to uh, take these extracurricular classes right. that you, the rest of you are taking. Then he's just like. Yeah, you want to drink coffee? Meet them. Like, oh, you're uh, making barrel look like very, yeah, <laughs> very enticing. That's uh. damn show. Sure. Yeah. Like, I think back in like 50 years ago, a mm. lot of people were more willing to have kids because there was very clear roles between the couples. One would go and make money. One stay at home and take care of kids. So then it's very easy for them to go, okay lah. Like, we don't have to worry about who takes what role. It's very, mm. very defined. So now that we've reached a stage where like, we are going for equality and it's great. Mm. It's huge progress and full support for that. Mm. Not everyone can afford a helper. So yep. if parents are going to then decide what the roles are, I think there should be clearer examples or templates of how to do that. Or allow house husbands to be house husbands and have no judgment about it. Oh, but that's not a government thing right that's a society no no like, it's uh, a society yeah it's but a complete society it's a societal thing I think <laughs> you already sounding like a house husband <laughs> if there is no judgment <laughs> look at society already putting down house husband <laughs> if there are no judgment on men wanting to be house husbands allowing your wife to go out and work and make the dough I yeah. think we will see fertility rates go up. I agree because if you take one step back and we just look at paternity leave in itself, right? Apparently, there's also still quite a societal stigma against that because mm. it's like your team knows that you are a guy, ma. Then do you really need to be home with your child where your team is struggling? They're like, hey, just come back, la, come back, la, right? It's crazy. <laughs> like, Ine especially was dreading the day that I had to go back to work because of the shift work that we're doing, yeah. right? Right. If I'm at work, I literally have to give her more hours. And so if she's already like having lack of sleep, she has to take up more and sleep less. Like, there's right. no safety net, lah, you know? There's, there's no In safety way, net. Yeah. Like, yeah. you cannot do your 11 a.m. feeding now. Exactly. So, for <laughs> a long time, like, the reason that I have paternity is not for me. I'm, I'm working at home with my child. My, because I am there and I, because I have paternity, my, my wife gets to rest. Yeah. Mm. This is a lot more impactful if you brought this up before the gaming thing. <laughs> <laughs> priorities are uh, priorities. <laughs> 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 I won't. The is great. He would edit this and put this in front. Thank you so much, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Please. And on the note of work-life balance and lifestyle change, I actually found a BBC article <laughs> titled How Do You Convince People to Have Babies? They <laughs> use three okay. points, but two and three is the same, Brave which article. is flexi work. Yes. And I think in Singapore, actually, the parliament has been discussing this quite a lot. CNA put out like a whole bunch of articles over yeah, the yeah. past two days. Yes. John's face a bit scared when we throw out this word. No! <laughs> no, no, because they, they are creating a framework, right, that mm. comes into effect at the end of the year that if anybody asks for flexible work arrangements, there needs to be a formal um, procedure in place to basically process yes. these requests. So honestly, right, if I was able to work from home more often <laughs> uh, <laughs> just come back from I might be this guy I might be more willing to have a second child oh so does how much does John <laughs> want to help so our economy in the long run so falls on my shoulder <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually actually and other business owners I mean I can't I'm not going to compare my dog to your child la, but for the past few <laughs> for the past three weeks right? if you're going to get a second dog you're going to bring this out <laughs> Is 
Why is techless, Jared? No, no. <laughs> for the past three weeks, we have been working from home because we've been moving into this new, waiting to move into this new office, right? So yeah. I time, get right? to spend uh-huh. a lot mm-hmm. more time with my dog. And I felt like, you know, that can be a preview of like, if I had a yeah. kid, yes. like that was the closeness and amount of time I would have spent with them. Right? Yeah. Then that actually kind of solves my... I don't have the the time to see the people I love kind of problem I that I have. Yeah. Yeah. No, but does it make you a happier employee? It, yes and no. As an employee, I feel less productive. But yeah. as a person, I feel... Happier. Like, there is more balance for that. Yes. Yeah. So, mm. I mean, really, the, the truth is you get to sleep a bit more, lah, mm. right? You get to sleep a lot more. Yes. I mean, not you. Lah. I mean... I no, 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 no. Yeah, the travel time does yeah. is a bit the of a price to takes pay. an hour, ma. Yeah, because you, you literally get to wake up the minute work starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, like, 45 minutes before that. Yeah. yeah. No, but last time, even before... <laughs> no, no, finish the yeah, day. Right? You also wake up after work starts, what? Right? You tell us you explain show at 10.15. Now you got excuse. For now three years. <laughs> No, but what is quite crazy was that there was an article that just came out today talking no, about- No, you report me that I never give you flexible work arrangement or- You do, you do. I mean, do. really, I feel really betrayed on a no, personal no, no, level. No, no, eh. that I, Nothing <laughs> I said was an attack on- uh, Was it? Was I mean, you are not being flexible for the last five years. I mean, not very, very, I, I feel so fortunate. That's the reason why I stayed here for so long. We literally, everybody starts work one hour late eh. <laughs> Except Jared. Jared comes to work on time. I open the Shout door out. every hey, day. Last year I come to work on time, nobody recognized. This news surprised me. Me also. That one in two workers in Singapore will quit their job if asked to be in the office more often. Why is that quit? That makes sense, what? No, they, 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 they will quit, quit their job. So it's like, if from now on, you ask me to come back to office three times a week, I'll quit. But most companies got work from home arrangement now. So it's, it's not like I will, I will stop working. It's just, I'll just find another place that will have an arrangement. No, but the thing yeah, is that quit, more and more, <laughs> more and more companies are asking their, their staff to come back to work. So we're going to see literally a 50% attrition rate, right? Right. Yeah, because my, my, my wife, right, so. her previous job, right. 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 I think she had uh, maybe four to five days work from home, almost Whoa. full work from home. Hey, where? <laughs> <laughs> got a vacancy now that the wife <laughs> I want to say this little quips, you all do hurt my feelings, but I'm okay. I, I will just learn to live with it. I will just learn to live with it. But then, we love working here. Uh, but like a lot of companies, I think uh, they were trying to say like, okay, now maybe it's three days work from home, yeah, two yeah. days work from home. I remember mm. her having a conversation with her and she was saying like, this is now very important to me because my job honestly could be done from Bali. Yeah. If I'm going to the office just because that was like, you know, the old ways or something, yeah, right? Yeah. It doesn't make sense to me. So yeah. that is my mindset now. I have seen that there is no joint productivity. So... I will go to another company like, who will offer yeah, this yeah, and there yeah. are companies that will offer it. You know, honestly, that's what I thought. So when I thought companies like us, right, won't experience a drop in productivity. What surprised me, right, was that some of the most productive people in our office drop productivity the most when you don't get to see them. But then also the reason that one person would shine in the company in a work from home setting versus work from office, I feel like conflicts with the other person. For example, a big benefit of working from office is that if I have something to say to Jared, I just stand up and I talk to him for 10 minutes, right? Yeah, but at the same time, that breaks his concentration, especially if maybe he's editing something or he's like writing a script right. where you feel like you need total concentration. Right. Work from home allows me to like segment my time better so that I can, as in the time that I set for you is the time that you will call me. No? Other than that, it's um, impossible for you to come over to my house to, to stay or whatever. Ma. Yeah. So the time for myself is segmented better. So I wonder if flexible work arrangements could also look like, say for example, if Jared is going to be editing fully for the next two days, mm. then Jared work from home if that's his preference. Yeah. No, I feel like certain part of the process pipeline, it's okay. Yeah. Mm. yeah I, like, I, I agree. I, once again, I'm a proponent for four days. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it helps the country's fertility rate, <laughs> a big company do it first. <laughs> <laughs> Show us the way. Lead the way. All right, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed our discussion. We would like to thank our partners once again, gov.sg. For more information on the initiatives that we have mentioned, do check out the links down below as well as for the many, many more initiatives mentioned during Budget 2024. Mm. We'll see you in the next episode. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Don't wait. Procreate. When you have a child, you automatically jump to a four-day work week. You think more people will have children? <laughs> no, that's another kind of work. <laughs> yes. No, then everything we just put throw on four-day work week. You are quit smoking. The moment you quit smoking, you have four-day work week. Then non-smokers already get four-day work week. Then we pick up smoking and then. <laughs> <laughs>